reacting to some Commodore 64 music. Up next. Hey everybody, this is the Techno Funk Boy. Uh, my name is Paul, and we're going to do some uh, video game uh, music reaction today. Going back to my roots a little bit, my first, my first uh, uh, system was a Commodore sixty four, and uh, and it, we we had a handful of games for it that I I spent a lot of time on and have a great love for uh, for even today. Um, we. Uh, uh, the, the, the game we're going to talk about today, I did not have, that would be cheating for a video game reaction show. Uh, but, uh, I could have to do some videos on some of those, uh, some of those, some of those titles that I really liked. I keep, uh, I, 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 I keep meaning to get, uh, to, to play them again, but I'm, you know, I'm, you're, Whenever you're going back to something that's from your very early childhood, there's always that concern that, you know, that it was not actually good at all. And you're, you were just fooling yourself and you're going to ruin it for, you, you know, for, for nostalgia, uh, for your nostalgia. And, um, and I'm, I'm always hesitant to do that, but, um, that uh, uh, that we'll have to get to another time because uh, uh, this one I I, I went out uh, somebody recommended Jarentel uh, to me uh, not long ago we did hit one of uh, his his uh, other his NES soundtracks we'll we'll put up here and uh, I really really liked it and I wanted to look more into it and I realized I had not despite the fact that some of the composers that I'm encountering in this series. Uh, themselves started out on the C64, and that was where I started out as well. I, I hadn't actually, I hadn't actually gone, I hadn't actually looked at any C64 music, and and I did want to correct that today. Um, and so, uh, and so, what we are going to be looking at is uh, supremacy. Uh, so, as I understand it, in in America, in, in North America, this was called Overlord, and it was, um, uh, it was. Uh, let's. Where is the date? Oh my goodness! Uh, this was a, a, originally came out in in uh, in, in ninety. Um, uh, the the C sixty four version hit in ninety one. That's actually going to be the the version that we uh, that we look uh, look at today. Uh, and uh, and eventually, uh, it, you know, there's there's DOS version NES in ninety three, and I was completely unaware of all of these of these different uh, uh, versions of this game. It was a it was a it was strategy game, and as I understand it, it is um, you're you're, uh, uh, you're according to Wikipedia, <clears throat> protecting a network of planetary colonies to defeat. Uh, can, can uh, defeat the uh, your adversary who's basically trying to take over. And so, um, as I mentioned, uh, this is uh, the 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 C sixty four theme song. This was a, 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 and and you know and, and as having not played the game, I don't I, I don't know of another song on the soundtrack. But this was pretty typical for. Um, Commodore 64, where you kind of had a theme song, and there was there was sound effects during the gameplay, but there wasn't actually music playing. So we're going to check check out the theme song today. Okay, before we get before we get into the, any farther, <clears throat> I do I, I I have a little bit of an advantage. I am looking at um uh, uh, uh the, the the video I'm looking at um it splits out splits out the the waveforms for the different channels, and so uh, I I you know I have a visual of what they're doing, but uh but even so, it's this really really kind of cool effect. So there's a lot of vibrato in there, obviously, but the channels are are 
are are kind of kind of on a delay from one another, creating that um, uh, that that kind of reverb and echo effect that is very very cool. So um, we're gonna back it up a little bit for when uh, when the band uh, when the, I guess the full sound comes in. Like all the channels are playing so far, but it, it's single uh, it's single notes. Um, at this time, uh, you know, really, um, uh, giving it, um, you know, uh, almost, a, a alien kind of a, a mystical feel to it that, uh, that, that is very, very cool. So we're going to back it up just a little bit and then cut into the, to the main section, I, I would suppose here. Yeah, I like this a lot. Oh, nice! I wasn't expecting that! have to pause it we have to pause it really quick again because there's so much going on here this is really really cool so uh all right we had that little kind of that, that opening that um um uh, really kind of set uh uh set um set the mood that was uh that was you know kind of had a thoughtful kind of alien kind of mystical feel to it and then split the different parts into three uh actual uh actual uh harmonic lines that um just kind of f repeated it but filled it out into a more traditional you know bass rhythm lead format and that's kind of where i thought things were going to land um uh, until uh until things until until things picked up and uh and and you know, got, got kind of the percussive beat in there. Um, that, ah, uh, that, that was, that was, that was really cool. Um, you know, I'm not even sure, you know, how, uh, it, where, where, where to draw, draw the parallels, but you're, you're, you're starting off in, uh, yeah. Okay. This is where, this is what it's making me think of. Um, the opera scene, in the fifth element where um it's it's very uh it's it's very subdued very meaningful very thoughtful you know and then there's a sudden and unexpected uh moment where things really pick up and that is also where the action starts picking up in the movie and so the movie kind of lulled you in to this very uh, almost like a sentimental moment and and um and you, you kind of thought you you know uh uh, first of all, this this was not a scene that I expected, but now I'm getting used to it. Now I'm kind of you know uh, falling into where uh, to where. Okay, I think I know where this is going, but then it twists back again uh, into uh, into into more of an action thing. Um, that's kind of the feeling I get here. Yeah, I mean the genres are not lining up perfectly. You know, in the analogy, this is not this is not a one to one analogy here, but 
it, it's like when uh, when it starts off very slow and meditative, I was, I was like, okay, this is not what I expected, but I'm now now I'm in that gear. I can see this is this is where we're going, and then we shift the gear, and that's uh, uh, that that's a ni- that's a nice way to, uh, especially with a strategy game, that you are communicating several different things about the game that you know that this is um uh you know this is something that is uh uh that is thoughtful but also uh with with action but then <clears throat> tell shifts gears again and <clears throat> almost kind of does this baroque type feel breakdown where um we're we're not even going back to the original mood because the original mood was kind of new agey and in um and thoughtful in that and in, in that that broke feel uh is is more of a more of a much more of a throwback except we're using you know electronic music and uh you know uh that that's always going to put uh, a little bit of a um a, a, of of kind of a technology feel to to pretty much anything that we're doing and and that that's the case here but an appropriate case this is a science fiction game and so um tell is going through a lot the main point tell is going through a lot of of changes here and they're actually flowing together really nicely that is not just it's not inappropriate at all and it's very very cool but also unexpected in keeping us as a listener on our toes which i like Keep going. Good composers can get a track this full out of very limited resources, like a C64, like an 8-bit system, like an NES, something like that. Amazing stuff. Yeah, this is great. That bass, that walk up right there. Bum, bum. Right there, right there. That's good, that's good. Oh, that's... I love it. That's great stuff. That's great stuff. Ah, uh, uh, just uh, packing in the emotions, uh, packing in uh, the um, the just the different, uh, you know, the different the different genres and stuff. That this this uh, okay. So like, I mean, these are not themes that you're going to play in the actual game. You know, these are not you're not going to hear these. But these songs like this oh. Uh, work kind of like the old overture did. Now the overture uh, it used to be a thing where you'd hear pieces of the themes that you're about to hear in the uh, in in like the opera or the Broadway play or something like that, and and so it's 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 the composer telling you what kind of moods you're going to go through. You know, uh, it, it, the the kind of things that you're going to hear in the, over the next three hours and. Pieces like this work work on the same level. So yeah, I mean, just from just from these these elements, you know, from from the song, what I'm now expecting is is kind of that mysterious, thoughtful element that uh, that we heard at the beginning, more of an analytical uh, element that would kind of bring in the baroque inspiration but also um 
you know, the, the, the kind of adversarial action com, uh, confrontation with our enemy, uh, with, uh, uh, you know, with, with more of the heavier, uh, the heavier part with the great backbeat that just, uh, uh, was, uh, uh, it, it's, it's kind of driving great r- rocking p- uh, piece. Um, again, the way, uh, the way you can, uh, way a good composer was able to fill out the um the comp uh, the composition to make you hear so much with so few channels is uh is astonishing and uh a a, a, a testament to, to great uh, great video game composing so uh yeah this was a good one i really i really like this one um if uh if you are not subscribed Please do so. Um, I, um, I am, uh, I am very, very selfishly shooting for uh, for a thousand uh, subscribers this year, and um, that uh, that that's been uh, that's kind of been my my year long goal, and we are nowhere close to it yet. But you can help, uh, and it and it means a lot to me if you would uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. Give me a uh, shoot me a comment in the in the comment section. Anything you think that I need to listen to, whether it's a single song from a video game or a full soundtrack. Uh, we've done a I've done a lot of these so far, and so uh, you can check out the the kind of the back catalog. Um, uh, I have a playlist. Um, uh, I'll go ahead, and throw it up there. It'll be on the uh, at the end uh, on the uh, credit, credit scene anyway. Uh, but these things are a huge help to me uh, if 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 you would if you do so if uh if you are looking to support the the channel there's a number of different ways you can do it the best way right now since we are uh since, I, since i'm trying to trying to grow the channel is to share it but um uh, I do have my own music out. It is in the description down there. Um, I have a number of podcasts that I'm on also in the description down there and a Patreon that kind of supports YouTube music and podcasting, all of it down there. Uh, and, uh, and even, even checking out, uh, checking out some of my music on Spotify helps me a lot. Uh, and so really do appreciate it. I'm really curious if that thunder is. Uh, is coming through because it's really bad <laughs> um uh so i appreciate it and we will uh we will catch you next time um i'm gonna have one of these up every single week and uh so we'll catch you next week